My name is Elizabeth McAllister. I'm a professor of religion and African American studies at Wesleyan University in Connecticut. Rara in Haiti is a long tradition. It probably goes back to slavery. Its core is spiritual work, doing work for the ancestors, but it's also a political festival. So people go out in the streets and they send messages to people in power about their condition and about how they're living and they express themselves through this beautiful tradition. Forever Rara Femme is a really special Rara. Traditionally, Rara is the domain of men. They are almost all the musicians and almost all the, the core of followers, except for the queens and the women who are singing. But Rara Femme takes all of the roles for the women and gives all of the women all of the roles. And this is a very new development in Haitian history. It's really very recent that women do all the, the uh, music and they're fantastic at it. And they're showing that women can do all of the roles in the Rara, they can do it well, and they can add their own, um, their own charm, their own power, and their own vibration to this long tradition.